great day to be a Republican? Is it a great day to be a Republican in the villages, ladies and gentlemen? You know, I've got my wife, Lisa, standing here with me, and we're so proud, so proud of the Republican ticket. Senator John McCain and Governor Palin, they are going to be our next president and vice president of the United States. Now, you know, ladies and gentlemen, somebody asked me when I was coming up here today, they said, well, Jim, is that area of the state McCain, Palin country? I said, I don't know, I'll ask them. Is it, ladies and gentlemen? You know, this election, there is more at stake in this presidential election than this country has faced since the end of World War II. Our national economy, our national security, and possibly even the way of life that we enjoy on God's green earth is at stake. This election will distinguish between these two candidates the philosophy in governing more than any election in the last 40 years. On one side, on one side we have a candidate, a candidate who believes in higher taxes, a candidate that believes in more government in our lives, and a candidate who can't wait to get on Air Force One and go visit our nation's enemies. But ladies and gentlemen, on the other side, on the other side, we have a great American, a man who has served this country with great distinction. That man is Senator John McCain. And his partner, his running mate, is a woman who has distinguished herself as a chief executive. A woman that has shown that if you put the people first, as Governor Charlie Crist has done in the state of Florida, the party will prevail. And most importantly, we have seen the great things that she has done. And I can assure you the McCain, Pale, and Ticket. They will fight to lower our taxes. They will fight to get government out of our lives. And where Senator Obama may believe government can solve our challenges, as Ronald Reagan said, government most of the time is the problem, not the answer. Now we know, ladies and gentlemen, fellow Americans, that we have to work hard. We have to do what we need to do because this nation cannot witness the Obama-Biden ticket being sworn in. Because if we as Americans allow that to happen, we will hear a sucking sound as soon as the senator's hand comes off the Bible and that will be our money going to Washington. Are we going to allow that to happen as we look to the future of this nation? We know, we know as Americans that there are challenging economic times. But we as Americans also know that in these times, higher taxes and more government is not the answer. It's lower taxes and lo less government. Now we talk quite often, quite often about the future of this nation. The future of America is bright. We as Americans, as Governor Christ always says, are working together. But I will tell you, change is coming. Change is coming. And the first change, the first change, is going to be my voice. But more importantly, thank you. you. A woman always knows what to do, don't they? Change is coming. And on January 20th, at noon, there's going to be the first change. And the first change is Senator Obama and Senator Biden are going to refer to John McCain as Mr. President. And Senator Obama and Senator Biden 
are going to refer to Sarah Palin as Madam Vice President. So let them know that change is coming. Change is coming. We're going to send a message today. We as Republicans and Americans, we are the messenger. And the message to the tax and spend Democrats and Washington insiders are Sarah Palin's on the way. She's on the way and John McCain is on the way. So look out because government is going to start serving the people, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you all. Thank you. Thank you, Chairman Breer.